Nityanandam, this is my Shiva Maya and today with a video about Krishna and the Bhagavad Gita and the number one lesson about the, uh, from the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, what lesson is that uh, and what can we learn actually from that number one verse? So today it's uh, Krishna Janmashtami. So we celebrate the birthday of Krishna and uh, everything basically what is practiced nowadays as Hinduism, he is the founder of that. Uh, so Krishna is a huge happening, has been a huge happening for uh, all of humanity um, and, and uh, like unbelievable uh, conscious being like God in form. Now, I feel very, very, very lucky because uh, I also uh, met a living enlightened master who is there nowadays, who is of that uh, caliber. And that is uh, my guru, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. And he had a wonderful, wonderful satsang where he was saying this very verse is the most important uh, lesson from the Bhagavad Gita. And I will read out the translation to begin with. You are your own friend. You are your own enemy. Raise yourself through yourself and do not degrade yourself. May you lift yourself by yourself. Don't give up on you and people. If you help yourself, you will be the greatest friend for yourself. If you don't, you will be your worst enemy. So that is the translation of that number one verse of the Bhagavad Gita. And uh, many, many, many life lessons I learned uh, uh, from this verse. Uh, first of all, of course... Uh, the huge liberation that we have that choice. Uh, we came to many conclusions uh, about life and ourselves uh, so far. And most of them we took completely unconscious. So we're not even aware of uh, all those conclusions that we still carry inside that we see manifested as our reality on a daily basis. Uh, the, the thoughts that we have, the conclusions that we take from life, those are the building bricks of the reality that we experience every day. So that, uh, uh, first of all, we have that choice. It is up to us to either raise ourselves by ourselves to make the most amazing life happening uh, for ourselves on a daily basis or to uh, be in delusion and be in ignorance and therefore uh, suffer, feel victim of certain situations, um, uh, experience uh, disease or uh, uh, emotional suffering, psychological suffering, all of these things. Because these things can only exist where consciousness is not. Where you are not aware, uh, only suffering can happen. So... That, that, that real Guru Tattva, the, the principle of the Guru, Guru means remover of darkness. So he is the one who makes us aware, or uh, Guru even as a principle inside of ourselves, is uh, making us aware of where the darkness is and remove it. Because when we become conscious, it's like switching on the light. When you switch on the light, the darkness disappears. It cannot not exist at the same time. And um, we are pure consciousness in the end. So there's no need in that, in, in that sense to suffer. It's only uh, where, where we are not conscious and we are ignorant. We, we feel powerless because we don't know how to deal with certain situations. Um, there is where the suffering only happens. And we have in every single moment the freedom to choose consciously our experience. And um, it is not the life situations that we raise our frequency or lower our frequency. It's not the people that we meet that do that for us. Only when we decide they are the ones who uh, um, uh, decide 
how we feel or uh, we, we make ourselves a victim of uh, situations or other people, only then it can affect our frequency. So literally, we are either our best friend or our worst enemy, uh, reg- uh, um, according to what choice we make, consciously or unconsciously. Uh, even that is, uh, in the end, our choice. And um, it's not that simple and, and easy, and it is at the same time, that when, when you are now watching and you, uh, you feel like, hey, but I'm really suffering here, so did I uh, cause this then? Well, yeah, but you did it unconsciously. So don't go into any, any guilt. Don't make yourself um, uh, feeling, feeling worse, uh, uh, telling yourself, oh, I'm stupid that I, that I did this. No, just take it as a chance to become aware of like, okay, if that is true, what you're saying right now, then lo- let me look in and see how I can become more aware of what is actually uh, happening exactly inside that is causing this. What conclusion did I take? What decision did I take? Uh, and, and how can I make another uh, decision? Well, by becoming conscious and uh, make that decision because it is completely our freedom. And this uh, first also taught me, like, it is not only your freedom, it is also your responsibility to do something with this huh? and to not, like, waste your life in suffering. Because why would you choose for suffering if you can choose to have a most amazing life realizing your full potential? Huh? And from wherever you are, you are able to expand uh, your consciousness more and more and more. So we all have that responsibility and uh, freedom to make that choice, to be our best friend or our worst enemy. So this is like a most amazing, uh, uh, amazing profound uh, first that that helps to learn so many uh, lessons by contemplating on it. And there's another point of part um, that I want to point out here, don't give up on you and people. Because uh, uh, actually how I used to live before, I was giving up on myself uh, uh, now and then without uh, being aware of doing that. Um, But withdrawing myself from life, withdrawing myself for situations, just because feeling powerless, not not knowing how to deal with a certain certain situation, and then, um, or uh, feeling like, yeah, I've tried uh, 10 things, uh, it's still not working. And then giving up on me, giving up on trying to find the right solution and just continuing till I found that what I wanted in life. And um, same goes when when you uh, give up on yourself now and then, you will also see you give up on others because others are only our extensions, right, in the end. So they are reflecting uh, uh, what, what we are holding inside also. So uh, we live in a, in a society where, where a lot of us think like, okay, if I'm not able to solve this conflict with my boss, I'll take another job. If I'm not able to uh, uh, establish a loving situation with, my, with the partner that I currently have, I take another partner. In the end, that, that never works because that powerlessness, the ignorance, not knowing how to solve a certain situation, that will still be there in the, in the next job or in the next relationship. And it will come back to you again and again and again and again till you learned the lesson, you became aware even there and raised your frequency. So uh, I used to postpone here and there a lot of things in my life well, I'm becoming more and more aware that that is actually the worst uh, thing to do uh, because you're wasting so much of your life and you can have like the most amazing, fantastic, expanding time. 
you should never postpone because what are you actually postponing? I was cognizing the certain things as being a problem. Like not, and myself as not able to solve that problem. Well, that's also a form of giving up on myself, right? And um, uh, uh, that actually now I'm cognizing every single situation in life as a chance to learn more things, as a chance to become more powerful. I was also, I used to also have the expectation, and I'm definitely not the only one. I heard it from a lot of other people around me also, having that expectation that life should be happy. Yeah, it actually, there is a truth, but on a way deeper level. Because that only uh, gets your, becomes your experience when you choose to be your best friend. And when you infuse more and more and more and more and more awareness and consciousness in everything you're doing. So that you continuously learn and uh, start mastering one situation after the other. Like that really is exciting to master more and more and more and more and more situations in life. And um, that is expanding, of course, and raising continuously your frequency. And if you give up on yourself, whenever you come to a conclusion, oh, I'm not able to do this, uh, uh, let me do something else, because I tried already 10 times and still it's not working. Uh, or you think like, oh, I'm not able to solve this conflict, so let me change the job or the, the, the relationship, or uh, let me have a new car or whatever. In the end, not thing outside of you can be your best friend if you are not. So first you take that con uh, conclusion to be your best friend and to approach every single situation in life from a context uh, through which you can raise your frequency with that particular situation. Then no situation whatsoever can be uh, bad for you and uh, degrading your your frequency anymore it can only uplift you because that depends on the context you are holding not on the situation so that is like a huge liberation uh, to to know and to really feel and experience uh, that that i have that choice in every moment in every situation um, that uh, that it is possible that it is working out to work like that you will see the challenges don't stop because throughout all kinds of challenges only you learn so much and you become more and more conscious and you use those situations to raise your, raise your frequency and never give up on yourself because sometimes you have to try one time and you succeed. Sometimes you have to try 2,000 times and you never know when you begin. The only thing is if you have that will persistence and you decide, I will not rest till I get this done, till I master this situation, till I solve this conflict with this person or um, till I have realized uh, this dream that I'm having of something that I want to manifest in life. When you consistently make that choice, I guarantee you, you will succeed always. Because it is only depending on that choice. That is the beauty of it. And that's how you become your best friend, always raising and raising and raising and raising your frequency. And the beautiful thing is that uh, once you get that and you become better and better in not giving up on yourself anymore, but always continue uh, this process, you will also be uh, able to do the same for others. So then it's, 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 it's not necessary to, to change people or, with, for, for example, say, uh, let's say you are a manager. Uh, you have a certain amount of resources, people, if you are that powerful that you realize you are the source of everything that you experience and that you have learned how to not give up on yourself and therefore not on your people, you don't have to um, uh, fire any people because you are capable enough of teaching those people whatever they need to learn and uh, get the job done, whatever you need to do. And I mean, it's not, uh, it's not that um, 
you will never uh, uh, fire people. I'm not, I'm not saying that like a rigid thing, but uh, it does not need to happen because uh, it's there. nothing exists like uh, you are not being able to uh, help your team to get the job done. Well, how amazing is that? Same, same goes with your family. When you know, like, uh, no, no problem in life is too big to solve, you are able to solve any conflict, any problem that you are having with anybody in your family, uh, uh, your, with your spouse or with your kids or whatever. It might uh, take uh, quite a bit of your will persistence in some cases, but hey, you are the one benefiting and, and, and they also. So it's worth it. It's worth to create the most amazing life you can ever live and keep on expanding on that. So those beautiful, beautiful lessons I had not learned if it wasn't for this uh, very first of the Bhagavad Gita. So I'm endlessly grateful for Krishna for um, uh, gifting this Bhagavad Gita to the world and um, even more, uh, so to say, to my guru uh, in living form at the moment amongst us uh, uh, nowadays. Uh, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam, who pointed out this verse and uh, guided me through learning all these lessons and made it into my actual experience in day-to-day -day life. So thank you to uh, both of these amazing uh, gurus and also thank you for watching and joining and for all the comments that you're gonna make on this video and for subscribing uh, to my channel uh, to keep yourself updated and coming back to uh, more videos and content and sharing all of this wonderful, amazing life. Thank you very much. See you in next video. Be blissful. Nichananam.